we are back and we are actually on our final lap of our 25 days skincare challenge today is day 24 at this stage you should be seeing some form of a result on your skin your skin should be looking better and not only looking better but it should be feeling better your you should start seeing your hyperpigmentation fading you should also notice the smoothness to the skin and for those of you with wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, you should also be seeing them diminish somewhat. After 25 days, 24 days, you should actually be at the stage where you are transforming your skin. However, it do takes at least 60, not 60, but six weeks for your skin to look better. Whatever product that you get to use on your skin, you should give it at least 60 days to work. However, with our 25 day skincare challenge, we are hoping that you should see some form of a result within 25 days. And that is the reason why we do our printout so that you can follow it to get the best result in 25 days. Now, when this 25 days challenge is over, we hope that you will continue to do the challenge. We hope that you will use the printout to do your daily skincare routine. What I wish for everyone doing this challenge is to now develop a regular daytime and nighttime skincare routine, just taking care of your skin and doing some of the things that you learn on this challenge. Welcome to 25 Day Skincare Challenge with Chichi Beauty, day 24. How are you feeling today? What is going on with the skin? Julie, I received your email and we're gonna talk about that later. Now, if you're new to the challenge, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are not late, meaning that you can start this challenge any day, any day, any day. All you have to do is to send for the 25 days um, printout, which goes up to day 28. Tomorrow is our final day for the live show for the second series, 25 days. And we want you all to come on over tomorrow night. We want it to be a fun hour, just, you know, talking and, you know, getting just, just it's going to, I don't want to like just you know, give it away. But we want you to come over tomorrow night and come with your face looking good, okay? Just come with your face looking good. Good night to all that are here. Welcome our regular on the chat. We have Keisha, Jill, Bella. Um, we have someone new. We also have um, Julie is here. Um, Peace, Kangi, welcome. This will be great. And for can't wait from Uganda. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Renny, probably new. We also have Iris Wilson, definitely new. Patricia is here before. Amina is just joining. Auntie is here, KB. It's a good show at noon. Thank you so much. I've been receiving a lot of emails stating how amazing the me weekday show is. Now, if you're new, this is the 25 day skincare challenge show. However, we do have a daytime show. It was a series that we ran for one month and the series is over, but you know, we're going back to the drawing board and we definitely know off the bat that we will be coming back at least once per week, at least once per week. And if that once per week seems, you know, good, we might hop it to two, but for now we are sure about once per week. That is for our, um, weekdays with Chichi Beauty, in case you don't know what that is, that was normally done noon, Monday to Thursday, every day. Now we are here for skin. If you're here for skin, if you're here to transform your skin, to take your skin from dull, rough looking skin, and not only that, what I like about this challenge is that you get all the tips to get your skin, your face, to look younger and fresher and free from wrinkles and fine lines, free from hyperpigmentation, free from dark on the eye circles. So I want to hear you comment. For those of you who did the challenge, what is going on? Are you seeing any form of a result? Just start a comment and let me hear. It's really good to get some form of a feedback from you. You did the challenge for 24 days so far, and even if, 
you did not follow the challenge to a T, we want to hear from you. Today we're going to talk about transforming your skin, getting your skin to look good in 25 days. We're going to go over all the details, all the stuff that you need, because we want when the show is over tomorrow, you will have something to take with you. I'm going to be reading some of the comments really fast and you know, then we're going to dive in. Now, um, Sanita, I always follow you on YouTube and off of Facebook. All right. So here we have, um, um, Julie, uh, my face, this is Eileen. My face is no longer shrunken in a, and, and, and dry too. Really, really good comment. And we have Marweleta. Welcome. And, um, Susan already did my facial peel tonight. Feeling good. Now, Eileen, the massage really have huge results. And we get that every time we did this challenge. Miss Dre, Miss J, skin is now, um, I think I, it just went out of my sight, but I'll find you back, Miss J, because the chat is moving. But we, okay, skin is now smooth, even toned and moisturized. That's what we want to hear. Iris, is there a regime I'm supposed to follow? Already set up or do I make my own? I know you're new, Iris. What you need to do is go on chichibeauty.com. You'll get the printout from day one to day 28, which you follow every day. If not, send to chichibeauty at gmail.com and you will get a printout. We'll send the printout to you. Yes, there's some, you know, a printout that you follow and every day you have different things that you should be doing to your face. Not too late for you. Send for the printout, watch the video. It's in a playlist and follow the printout and you are good to go. Wendy is also new. I'm very new. I am interested in what you have to show us. Hang on in there. We're going to go back over everything. Hi, Lockett. How are you? It has been extraordinary. And let me read your comment. It has been extraordinary. Series. Awesome job. Love the live level of information um, shared. You are blessed. And thank you so much for that. And, and Julia, oh my Chichi, my skin is feeling so good. I've learned so much in this 25 days. Thank you for teaching us. Love you and love you right back. Key Washington, just joining. Welcome. Hi, Pat. I haven't seen you for a while. I watch your videos to the end and they are amazing. Welcome to the chat. And we have um, Rennie. I do the chin massage and it is helping. Thumbs up to you. Aminia, although I did not follow the challenge to the letter, it is my second time around and it had helped me create a consistency, root, consistent routine that I am loving the skin I'm in. And that's what the goal of this is for you to develop a skincare routine that you can follow way after the live is done. And Juliana, I'm so impressed of myself. Skin looking marvelous, tans chichi. And that's, that's it. We are here to transform your skin. And as I said, if you're just joining, you want to be a part of the challenge. It's not too late you can still be a part of this challenge. This challenge is something that you can be doing every day, like every day, and now that you have the printout. So to start off, and since we're boiling down and we have some new people, what we're going to do, we're going to follow the topic today. Um, I knew didn't get the challenge, but I've done two. All right, so you definitely will get the list once you listen for where you can get it from now since we're on the final lap we are going to go over some of the things that we did on this challenge okay we're going to go over some of the things let me write in my email really really quick so that for those of you who are new um can actually um get it it's also listed in the description box below so the link to the playlist and the link to the website is also in the description but i'm going to put it on the screen in a minute that is this was there and i accidentally erased it that is why i have to be writing it back so let's see if this is it and so that's the, the Gmail account. If you do not want to go on the website, you can send for 
the the printout at chichibeauty at gmail.com however i suggest you go on the website because if you go on the website what is going to happen is that you're also going to get the recipe for the overnight facial mask and you're also going to get the recipe for the peel off facial mask all of that is on the website so check the website even if you send for the printout the website is where you find the recipes so we have locket i've um, seen improvement in different area smooth skin smaller pores clear lips and a lot of people are not talking about the lips but yes clear lip dark spot fading this is so rewarding can't stop taking care of my face and if i have not achieved anything from this 25 day skin care challenge that is one thing i want i want people to walk away knowing how to take care of their skin i have shared so many information so much with you all not only will you know how to take care of your skin by now you should know your skin type you should also know how to choose products for your skin you should also know what is good for your skin and you should also know how to take care of it you also should know the different kinds of vitamins what is good for vit what you do with vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e you should know all of that not only that you should know now how to read the back of your beauty products what is the most abundant what is most in whatever products you are using you should also know by now what products what facial wash is good for your skin time and if you're new and you don't know any of that the playlist is listed below the video you can go watch those video because they're jam-packed with information that can transform your skin from dull rough looking skin to a more radiant glowing skin so hi Rosabeer haven't seen you for a while okay so loving my skin second time around look more youthful blemishes gone life laugh line looking so much better no more bags under my eyes i love the skin i'm in and that is what we want to hear i want to hear result and just imagine some of you are doing this just for 25 days 24 days today and you are seeing result i want you all to continue 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 to take care of your skin now diana my skin feels smooth and glowing even my lips are lighter and the facial peel is awesome really really awesome good night andrea welcome to the chat and um agatha i want to try everything i'm very excited so for all of those all of you that are joining new what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go over really really quick some of the things we're doing on the challenge now i let me see if i could um pick up the 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 let me see if i have the printout here why i don't show the printout much because they don't come out like really really full so it's like just half and half i kind of prefer to pick it up in a my um my inbox so let me see really really quick if i could get day day one for you from day one was an easy day what we did and day one is just to learn okay let me just do it um off my head week one what did we do for the challenge and week one week one is all about a learning process learning how to take care of your skin learning how to wash your face and little tricks and tips and how to get the best result when you wash your face that was the focus of week one week one we try to get you into the groove of taking care of your skin a.m. and p.m. Now, some of the things that we spoke about, especially if you're new, what you're doing is finding a cleanser that is good for your skin type. That is the very first thing you need to do on the challenge. How do you know your skin type? The easiest way, you wash your face. Do not put anything at all on the skin. Leave it for about two hours or so, and then you go back with a tissue. You take that tissue. You place it over your face and you press it. When you depress the tissue, mine is gonna show makeup. I'm wearing a bit of a makeup. When you press the tissue on, if there's any form of an oil on that tissue, you're gonna look where the oil is. If the entire tissue is covered with oil, you probably have oily skin. If you have 
feel after the two hours, even before you put the tissue on, your skin feel like you just can't go any longer. You need a little moisturizer on it. It could be that you have dry skin. And also, if you take the tissue and in the T area, you find oil and the rest, no oil, or even if this area is oily, no oil in the tea, it could mean you have combination skin. Now, when it comes on to sensitive skin, it's easy. The tissue is not going to do it. For sensitive skin, you definitely will know because most thing that you use on your face is going to cause your skin to itch or you're going to feel, it's going to feel irritated. That's what we did in the first week. Now, another thing that we do is to teach you how to wash your face. And if you're new, you might be like, you're teaching people how to wash their face? Of course, everyone knows how to wash their face. On our channel, it's a no. Not everyone knows how to wash their face, like really cleanse the face. So what we did for week one, week one, we teach you how to wash your face. To wash your face, you're going to wash your face with a cleanser suitable for your skin type. After you wash your face, you're going to wash the ears around your eyes. And the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take care of your lips by washing your lips too. So to complete your facial wash, you're washing your eyes, you're washing the rest of your face, and you're doing your lips. On this ch um, challenge, everyone is using a wash rug. We all use a wash rug. And what we're doing with this wash rug, we are washing under our eyes and above our eyes with that wash rug. We're also turning that same wash rug. Some people have two. And we are scrubbing our lips every day. Every day we are scrubbing our lips to get our lips to look more plumper and more fresher. So cleansing the face, washing your eyes and washing your lips. That's all we did in week one. And when we're done with the cleansing, we apply our products, your facial toner, your facial serum, your facial moisturizer or facial oil. That's all it was for week one. One week of just learning to cleanse your face and applying your beauty product. If you have a question, go ahead and comment. And while I'm talking, if you're already doing the challenge, we want to hear from you. So keep commenting. Let me know what has been happening to your skin in the past 24 days. So keep commenting because I really want to see those comments going up. Good night, Magdalene. And Magdalene is giving a shout out to everyone. Lioness TV, good night. And we also have G um, Clarkson. I have been doing the 25 days challenge and I am loving my result. Thank you so much for that comment. Brooklyn, New York, good night. Where, oh, okay, so that is Lucky, where is most likely you were trying to say, where is Lucy? Now we have, um, you know, everyone chit chatting. And that's another thing. If you're on the live chat and you notice people talking to each other, this is because it's the second time around. And that is what we do here. We're all one big happy family. Once you are a part of the chat and once you are all about us, I always follow you on YouTube and Facebook. Just going to comments though. If you're just joining, welcome. You are here for our 25 days of skincare challenge. And some Someone is just realizing that they have been washing their face wrong, totally neglecting the lips. And I'm telling you, you should watch that video because I'm just doing a summary of what we spoke about in week one, just a summary for the new people. But if you really want full details, even how to um, clean the under eyes really well, go and watch that video in week one. So that is week one. And after week one, we have Miriam. I'm loving my face. My face is so soft and my skin is lighter. Now we have um, CM Gonzalez. I wasn't sure Sure, you had to scrub your lips. lips. Oh, so someone else is saying they didn't know that they need to scrub their lips. And yes, it helps a lot. Really helps a lot. Good night from Florida. And that is Hempress, Bella, lips and eyes need more attention for this skin care challenge. Yes, yes, yes. It's all about cleaning the areas under the under eyes 
so that your eye cream or your eye serum can work on the skin. Now, if you're just joining and you have been doing the challenge, let us hear from you how it's going so far. If you're new, we're doing a summary tonight to get you on track and you can send for your printout for the full 28 days. It's a 25 day skincare challenge, but I take it all the way to 28. So you have a full month. When the month is over, you can go back and start from day one. Now, if you're watching also, and just a little quiz, do you remember what week two was about? If any of you watching and you remember what week two was about, feel free to comment and share. Just want to see if people have been keeping up with the 25 days challenge. And Julie, thanks you, Chichi. My lips is really nice now. And Jackie Mom, I found an under eye cream and face cream with collagen and elastin. And that's what we want. And let me tell you, once you know, and that's why we focus so much on how to cleanse the face. On this channel, we do not push only use our products. We push for you to know how to clean your skin and take care of your skin, regardless of what you're using. Whether you're using store-bought, you're mixing the two with homemade stuff, or you're using straight homemade or straight store-bought, it doesn't matter. What really matter is that you know how to take care of your skin. You know how to read your beauty products list. You know what is good for your skin, okay? So that is what is most important. And when you cleanse your face, when you exfoliate and steam that face on a regular, all your beauty products will work better on the skin. Clean skin help your beauty products to work better. So go ahead, keep commenting. Yes, I need this. I work in the element doing security and definitely you can take care of your skin. You definitely need to take care of the skin. Now, I just um, pressing that one. Uh, week two, eye treatment. All right. I'm just, uh, I need an eye cream. You definitely need an eye cream and or a good oil. Week two was about the facial peel. All right. So we're seeing different comments. Week two focus on eye treatment. And um, I think that is the correct answer. Week two, we were focusing on how to use a treatment for your under eyes. Cheryl, good evening. I followed the challenge before. However, this kind of time my skin improved meant is much better i actually like this comment i'm gonna ask you um cheryl do you think that the your skin has improved much better this time around because you have that daily printout to follow if any of you watching and you think the printout help much better than not having it you think the printout works for you comment and let me hear let me hear because we we'll probably bring back this challenge round about august and we need to know if we should come with another printout so if the printout has been any help to your skin i'm asking you to just give me a comment now sandra the 25 day skincare challenge made me take good care of my skin my skin feel very good thank you for this chichi and you are so welcome now bella um actually i really do think the printout was so helpful and that's what i need to hear i need to hear from you did the printout makes a difference if you're watching you have the printout you use it you feel like it's a good guide and also if there's anything on the printout that you think we could tweak because i made that printout all by myself so i would like your feedback and let me know what are if there's anything on the printout you think is a little excessive anything that you find that i could tweak let me know and even if you don't comment it here send an email so i could get your feedback so we can get that really really perfect around the next time now Cheryl, the printout was very helpful also i start in um no embo november Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but correct, just fill it in, let me see. Now, Pat, Chichi, I'm trying to get the rose water to make my facial toner, but not sure which one to buy. The best way to find a rose water is one that is made with, um, the, ro the better rose water is made with, <laughs> where is this water? It's like it just went out. I normally say it in my video, um, when the water vapor go up and it, um, distilled water, distilled water. If you can find a rose, if a rose um, um, 
water that is made with distilled water that is one of the better rose water well rose water is rose water except for me personally i like those that is made with distilled water you can also substitute the rose water with some green tea but it's good to have some rose water because if you don't have a facial toner you splash that rose water on and you are good to go thank you margaret distilled water and i see you guys watch my videos you know when i'm struggling to find a word now julian and the 25 days challenge has really have been helpful i follow this step just as following my work schedule it's so great my big sister has also benefited from it um fix um resolving um or oh um taking care of her it is helping her dark circles and i'm telling you i come come on in here whenever someone and let me keep this real with you whenever someone like comment on my channel and they like i have a few of those this week from the same person um i've been using your remedies for 30 days though no, this is the second remedy i'm using on my skin for 30 days straight and nothing happening just saying that was a comment someone made when i get those kind of comment i really do not take offense and you know the reason why because in order for your beauty products to work whatever you need to pay attention to details like cleaning the skin making sure that your skin are clean to absorb whatever you're using that is why we suggest that you even clean your skin before you use a facial mask that way the mask can seep into the pores and get the best result most people will just tell you your things not don't work because they really do not follow to a T and not only follow to a T if you use a facial Facial ma mask like every two, every once every week it still will see some form of result the trick is the way you cleanse your skin cleansing the skin a.m. and p.m. vital for your skincare product to work the next thing that is vital is to exfoliate the skin if you're just joining welcome we're just going over a summary to give you an idea how to get your skin to look amazing in 25 days week two how to take care of your eyes now a lot of us struggle with dark on the eye circles and dark on the eye circles come about sometimes you know if you just go to sleep you wake up with it some people get it from the granny the papa some people just just do not get enough sleep some people is tired some people is stressed out all of that can some people have some underlying condition that caused the under eyes to be dark however whatever is causing this when i'm stressed out and like not taking care of my eyes they do become darker so it's vital now nowadays they're not as dark because you know i have the remedies down to a t however taking care of your eyes is vital because when your eyes look dark it could age you you can look much older when your eyes are dark your under eyes is dark your skin is not looking right you can look much older and even if your skin is looking good and your under eyes is dark like much darker than you'd want it to be you that could also make you look older so it's very very vital to take care of your under eyes now we have a lot of remedies on our channel that we use however for this challenge what we do share is how to wash which is week one Week one, we show you how to wash your under eyes. Week two, we show you how to clean the under eyes, massage the under eyes. And this is pretty easy. When you get the dunk, dunk to a tea to clean the under eyes, you take your beauty um, product, whether oil or serum, I use a lot of oils under my eyes, okay? Avocado oil is a good oil. Sweet almond oil is a good oil. The papaya seed oil is a good oil. Or you can make an oil blend like I do. We have a lot on the challenge that channel that you could browse around. All you need is one to two drops of whatever oil you are using, preferably one drop, oops, just a little bit of an oil. And we suggest for this challenge that you warm the oil, you warm the moisturizer, and you even warm the serum. Whatever it is you're using under your eyes, your two fingers, you warm it. Once you warm it, this is too much on my hands. Once you warm it, you're gonna apply your eye treatment pressing it in under the eyes like this once you press 
the oil in or whatever you're using and you're going to go back you're going to take the same two fingers and you're going to start to move really fast under it this is something that i religiously do like this is my go-to this is how i massage my under eyes and that's how you massage the under eyes now every week we suggest three times for the week you leave a leave on for 30 minutes i solution mixed with parsley mixed with basil we have a lot on the channel and if not and you have a store-bought one like some of these things i have one here like some of these things if you have these go ahead and use them at least three times a week under the eyes i personally i have these these were sent to me and i think i showed these before but i I just prefer my own and <laughs> to be honest because i really make a good mix so what i do i make that mixture and we have videos that you can go and watch and dip it in as i said if you don't want to make your own you, they have a lot of these kind of things selling like an amazon and stuff like that you treat that under eyes you place it under the eyes leave it on for the 30 minutes and then you rinse off when you rinse off that's when you reach for your oil your moisturizer or your serum you pat it under the eyes and then you massage it under the eyes how often are you taking care of your eyes every day every day you're using and you're patting on and massaging but using an eye treatment under your eyes is about three times per week on the challenge that is just a summary of week two everything that we do in week one we did in week two so week one take over to week two and what we did we just add new things to it so by the time you get to week two you now know how you're cleansing your face every night you're cleaning under your eyes you're not only doing that but you're also using your eye treatment you're still doing your lips. And another thing that I think that we were doing in week two, we are also massaging the face. I think in week two, we add facial massage. Another thing that we add also in week two is the steaming of the face. So we're steaming our face, we're exfoliating our face, we're taking care of our eyes and lips, and we are also massaging the skin. If you have a question, go ahead and comment. If you're just new, you wanna be a part of the challenge, it's never too late. What should I use for my body to keep it soft? I have rough skin, exfoliate exfoliate with a good scrub you can make a good coffee scrub or you can make a, a coffee scrub that i personally make and i share on the challenge channel that i love is the is the scrub with the coffee and the dry orange peel coffee dry orange peel and i think i mix some rice in it Ooh, with some rose water and a little bit of oil oil of choice and scrub that body neck all the way down to the toe don't forget the feet now scrub it scrub it scrub it and you can give yourself a good body scrub at least once per week if you have the time twice per week is good but at least once per week you use that and on in that body scrub you can also have a little bit of a eucalyptus oil i would say any of your favorite essential oil nowadays they have some wide variety like mangoes and you know um um, um lotus and all those kind but personally i'm a eucalyptus girl and a lavender girl and i like my orange um essential oil so you put that in and that aroma take you from ooh. anyway we're doing face so let's go back to the face comment 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 Rene, just watch your playlist. Can you use grapeseed oil by itself or M seed oil? Yes, yes, yes. Those are carrier oil. Let me talk really quick about carrier oil. All carrier oil can be used on the skin directly. All carrier oil can be used on the skin directly. So you can use coconut oil straight on the skin. You can use olive oil on your skin right like that. You can use um, grapeseed oil. You can use almond oil. Those are carrier oil. You can use them on the skin directly. Now, if you have an oil blend that is made, you use it on the skin. But when it comes on to like the batchy oil and some of these oil, it's good to make them with a carrier oil to dilute. So all carrier oil can be used directly on the skin. Very, 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 very good question. Chichi, I did a challenge la um, laps a few days, but my open pores are gone. And I saw blockhead. I didn't even know 
were there. And that means you might be steaming your face and exfoliating because that is going to show them and then you're going to just clean them out and get your skin to look good. Very, very good. That's what we want to hear. Using the washcloths under cloth under eyes have tremendous sleep. I'm telling you, I'm not sharing these tips as jokes, okay? I'm giving you guys the real tea, okay? The real deal. This is like information that is kept for you know people with <laughs> these information that i'm giving you they're kept for people with with you know with 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 all right so we are moving on if you're just joining welcome 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 um we are doing our skincare challenge and this is our live show if you're here you have a question anything about question any question about skincare go ahead and comment we are just going over what we did in the 24 days so far so we're taking as many questions while we are giving you a, a summary of the 25 days skincare challenge any question that you have so far especially if you're new if you have a question for me go and ask it right now because we're gonna go on to week three now we have bella here bella no joke yesterday i remember when you always used to say that in your video thank you so much for that and i like when people remember the things that we talk about on the channel now i'm looking for comments so if i didn't get your comment if i didn't flash your comment on the screen it's probably mean that i don't see it for so far i think i have entered every single person comment flash them on the screen and some i have read now i want to hear from you if you're just joining may i have your website please yes i'm gonna write it for you in a few seconds now if you're just joining and you want to be a part of the challenge it's not too late for you to be a part of the challenge you can be all you have to do is to send your information to chichibeauty at gmail.com and i'm gonna send you your printout i'm just trying to get the website going um so let's get back to the street yes so i'm gonna send you that a printout or you go on the website you get the printout not only you get the printout k-h-i-c-h-i-b-e-a-u-t-y dot c-o-m all right so here is my website and that is it there it is i'm going to try to see if i could copy it and put it in the 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 link on the live chat so that is the website you go on the website and you look for the peel and you also can find the overnight facial mask and you can also find the printout from day one to day 28. All right, so here on the chat, I am just putting, so there is the website, that's the link to the website. You can actually click on that link and get straight to the website, or you can just clip and paste it and then you will get to the website any question may i okay so that's what i just read all right moving on to week three but before we get to week three let's talk a little bit about steaming for the new people if you're new here we do steam our face for this challenge and how do we steam the face we use a facial steamer for those of you who have for those of you who don't have we're using our hot water boiling some hot water, let that steam hit the face. We're covering our head with towels and we're just letting steam it in our face. So that's what we do. And how often are we steaming on this challenge? We're steaming our face three times per week for about two to three minutes. Three times per week for about two to three minutes. That is how we are steaming the face. Another thing that we are doing on the skin, we are exfoliating, exfoliating on the channel, exfoliating meaning that we're scrubbing our face every three days or three times for the week we're making a facial scrub and we're rubbing our face with that in circular motion why are we exfoliating we are exfoliating because that is what's going to pave the way for our beauty products to work um denise did you use avocado and grape seed soap on the face is that okay yes that is okay as i said we teach you how to read 
the comment but the most important thing that you need to know is how much avocado oil and how much grapeseed oil is in that soap that you're using. And I know you probably watch where we actually show you how to know how much of what you are getting. But that is um, that's the in that so far sound like it is good for your face. Now, um, let's see well jill i know exactly what is going in there definitely now um peace great knowledge from uganda we're trying to get all the comments uh margaret just i just remember that the serum you you should be according to your skin type yes i have very oily skin and i know that my serum should be water based which is tremendous uh, all right so that's another thing that we share on this channel challenge most people know what is good for their skin in the 25 days if you walk away with nothing you definitely walk away knowing what is good what is your skin type how you should take care of your face what products even to use on the skin we do not give brand on this channel we do not tell you okay use this brand use that brand use that brand what we do is show you how to go out there regardless of what brand you can go take the product look at it read it and know if it's suitable for your skin type that is the that is the ticket that we share on this live um 25 day skincare challenge how can i use vitamin c serum under my eyes if it's a vitamin C serum and it does not wrap, it's don't have eye serum, it's not for your under eyes, okay? If the serum does not say eye serum, it's not for your under eyes. The honest truth is um, beauty products that are made for your under eyes, your eye area on a whole is more gentle, is more delicate than the beauty products that is made for your entire face. You need to have a special a special serum for your under eyes that is made for your under eyes so to answer your question is it a vitamin c serum for your skin or is it a vitamin c serum for your under eyes a very very important that you know that off the bat now we have someone here that is new Renny, you're new you can join our 25 stay skin care challenge and you will get our print out and get your skin on the way to beautiful looking skin now um i don't know what is going on what um is going on with jill i only noticed jill's comment um chichi after steaming do you rinse with cold water immediately or you wait for a little while that is actually a very 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 good question i would say that to each is old most time once you finish steaming it's gonna be about a minute or so for you to splash on that cold water and that is okay you don't have to like sit like in the olden days when they tell you like oh you just use the hot water don't go in the cold water it's gonna give you a cold that is actually a myth so you can actually go just a little steam on the face it's not like you were like standing in a pot of hot water for for for, for half an hour or so little steam it in your face two to three minutes splash that cold water on right after and you are good to go now andre just start watching one week ago and i've used the rice aloe vera and tomato to exfoliate amazing result can't believe the difference in just one week and I'm telling you, this remedy works, okay? And keep going, keep going, and you're gonna be blown away in a short period of time how well your skin is looking. Chichi, you're awesome. Each time I tune in, I learn so much. My skin has improved in these 25 plus days. Thank you for that. And the printout has been helpful. Thanks for the change of color per day. Okay, so someone noticed that I also, thank you so much for this comment. I also make a different color, all right? And the reason why I do that, because, you know, I have like, you know, older people sometimes watching the challenge and doing it. And I want to make people know like, okay, they could be like, did I miss a day? Not sure what, where I'm at, at on this channel challenge so the color is oh yesterday i think i was on blue that was the reason for the color and thank you so much for noticing if you're watching and the color has helped 
any at all, can you comment? For those of you who are not sure what Key is talking about, let me show it to you really, really. So that's an idea with the different colors for every day. So each day is different. So if you tried with the, with the color, let me know. If you have any idea why the colors were there, also comment, comment, comment. Jackie, I'm loving the chat as usual. Welcome, and that is a Jackie mom. Any one of you notice that the colors were there for a reason or just use the color any at all? Let me hear from you because we really want to get this 25 day skincare challenge to a T. We want to get it down packed and each day I am learning from you and anything I need to tweak on it for our next challenge which might be around about August or so then I definitely will change things around. Susan I like using the oatmeal powder mix in my oh I love that too. I love that too. When you blend that oatmeal and you, you can store it in the refrigerator and whenever you're ready to use you know you just take a little bit and do your thing really good. Uh, and my facial cleanser and adding milk or yogurt. And I know Susan, you are using the um the the oatmeal dry mix. The dry mix is good because you can carry it anywhere you want to. All you need to do, if it's even water you have, you can add it to it. Amazing. Now, um, Julie, I love steaming. I steam every other day for three minutes, and that is the way to go. Now we have, I'm not even gonna try to call, pronounce your name, but I, I like to challenge myself. So I'm gonna try um, Sutritinonis. Sutritinon, oh my goodness. But anyway, I think I got it the first time. Let me know. Sweet, so, so. All right. Is the 25 days challenge on playlist? I don't see it. Yes, the 25 days challenge is on playlist. If you look um, in the description box below, you're going to see the 25 days challenge playlist. If not, I'm going to put the link under this when I'm done, but it's always in the description box. And each time it's not going to be 25 videos because this challenge, we only do it four times for the week. So you just have to follow the playlist day by day and you'll get it because we don't do um, Wednesday, nor do we do Saturday and Sunday. So the playlist is going to have just four videos. The very first one though, do have 25 videos. Okay. So it's right in the description box below. Very good question. The massage, this is from Agatha. The massage is working great for my skin, and that is amazing. So, so tri, tri, tri trion, like in nutrient, nutri, okay, nutrition. So, so tri trion, is that correct? I'm so loving this little, you know, pronunciation thing. All right, so if you're just joining, we are doing our 25 day skincare challenge and we're at day 24 believe it or not day 24 and we are talking about what is happening while i'm doing a summary of the three weeks that we did so far basically just summarizing each week so we talk about how to cleanse the face we talk about how to take care of your eyes take care of your face on a whole and every day we're using our skincare product. Let's go through the put skincare products really, really fast. What are we using on the skin? We are using a facial toner. Now, where do you get the facial toner? You can get one at the store to buy, or you can make one. A quick and easy facial toner is some rose water. You can also brew a green tea bag or a chamomile tea, put it to cool, put it in a bottle, put it in your refrigerator, use it as a facial toner. And if you have any form of a vegetable blistering, you can use a little bit of that in the chamomile or green tea, shake it up, and that's a store-bought facial toner right there for you. Another thing we're using is a facial serum. Now, I spent an entire hour talking about facial serum on this series. The reason for that, most people are not familiar with facial serum. Tonight, we're not gonna elaborate on it much. I suggest that you just go on the playlist and watch. And I'm gonna finish when the show is over. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna 
put a little title to all the shows so that you know what we talk about in each show. Right under the video, I'm gonna start a list. So when you go on the playlist, you know what, if you're looking for like, how, what did she say about facial serum? You can pull that video out easily. But facial serum have to repair the skin. You use it right after the facial toner. So when you wash your face, you splash the toner on, then you reach for the serum. And serum is most time really healthy for the skin. It have to repair the skin, hydrate the skin also, and set the way for the moisturizer to work better. Now, there are different types of serum for different skin concerns. Someone was asking about a vitamin C serum. A vitamin C serum have to boost the collagen, but it also have to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, get rid of dull skin, or brighten and lighten the skin. That is the reason why you want to know if the vitamin C serum could be used under your eyes for dark under eye circles. I know that's what you were saying, but at the same time, I also want you to know that it would be a serum for with vitamin C for your under eyes, okay? Now, let me take another comment. Thank you. I honestly did not know what day we were doing. I just continued doing something as I didn't stop from the last challenge. Uh, thank you for that. Okay, so we have um, Nadine. Please, how can I use a shea butter? Now, we use a lot of shea butter on this challenge. I have rose... If, an hibiscus tea bag. Will that work? Tremendously. That combination is amazing. Brew the two, set it aside to cool, pour that in your bottle. If you do not have vegetable glycerin and you have a little bit of a vitamin E oil, you know, you could just a little bit because it's not supposed to be oil based. I just wanted to tip that in to prevent it from forming bacteria and that could keep in your fridge well over 10 days. Okay. Now let's go back to this question. Shea butter. The way I use shea butter is to melt the shea butter. You can melt it in the microwave. You can melt it on a double boiler. And that is fresh shea butter we're talking about. Not the shea butter that you buy that is already made into a cream. I'm talking the raw shea butter. You get it, you melt it. Once it is melt, it's gonna be liquid like a regular oil. Some people do not know that. When you melt shea butter, it's really oil. And then you are, if you're gonna use that shea butter, for a facial moisturizer, you're gonna think about what is it that you need for your skin. If you're looking to brighten the skin, you're gonna oil, use an oil that is rich in vitamin C. If you're looking for wrinkles and fine lines to be gone, you use an oil that is rich in vitamin A. So let's say we're making an anti-aging facial oil, facial cream using shea butter. You melt that shea butter. You reach for two special oils. And two special oil would be like Kake oil or say some bachi oil. And then you pour a little bit of that in the shea butter, both oils, and you had a little bit of a carrier oil because the shea butter oil base is already the carrier oil. And once that is done, you mix it up, you set it aside, the shea butter is gonna form back a thick buttery consistency. However, if you have a whisk, you can actually just whisk that up. It's going to get really, really fluffy and nice and creamy. And there you have an anti-aging facial or um, facial cream. That is how you use face um, shea butter. Now, you can also choose to add vitamin C to it or anything like that, that depending on what you want for your skin. We have several videos on the channel showing you how we make shea butter for a facial moisturizer. Now, Iris, I have used shea butter raw and otherwise I'm allergic to it. Um, what do I use in place of shea butter? Oils, oils, and you can just blend that oil. We have a lot of recipe on the channel where you use the special oil and I show you how, let's say you have a little bit of a green tea water, you can take some, you know, two different oils, a carrier oil and another oil, Pour that portion side, check the videos so that you don't, you know, put a little bit or too much of anything and you blend that out. It's going to come out creamy, creamy, and that is going to be water based. So you can skip and you can use oil or just watch the channel or just send an email and, you know, ask a question and I'll break it down better for you. Barbara, can the regular gl glycerin be used in place of vegetable glycerin? Yes. Now we get this question a lot. The difference in vegetable glycerin and glycerin is that vegetable glycerin is natural. 
okay it's natural it's made from plants and the vegetable and glycerin is actually made in the lab that is the difference now for most people that are looking to use natural ingredient on their skin they tend to use the vegetable glycerin but there's absolutely nothing wrong with glycerin glycerin is glycerin except we put the word vegetable in front because the vegetable glycerin is taken from the vegetable instead of it being synthetic okay all right so um very very good question we get it a lot and i always like to make sure that i answer the those kind of question cynthia how can i use almond oil almond oil is a carrier oil it's rich in vitamin e almond oil you can mix with other oil to use and make it in anything you can make it in an anti-aging facial oil but since it's a carrier oil it can use directly on the skin it is one of the better oil to use under your eyes okay it's a one of the better oils to use under your eyes so if you're making a oil base for your under eyes you can use the almond oil as the base good for hydrating and moisturizing the skin mix it with any other oil you choose to use or use it directly on the skin dump your entire body and take some of that almond oil and massage it on your body to keep your body hydrated or use it with a little special oil a little cacao oil a little rose oil a little squalene oil a little marula oil mix it up with that sweet almond oil and turn that into a facial oil very 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 good question now please don't forget to give us advice and the picture okay all right definitely if if i don't give you advice here i'm definitely gonna email you because i watch it i look at it and to start it off the back all around there is very very dry i also want to know if this has been there for a long time or if this is due because you know you're wearing masks but when i look all here it's extremely dry and you can see like it's cracking so i'm definitely I'm preparing something for you so maybe not here but I'm gonna email you okay all right so um can I use almond oil instead of sweet almond oil and we get this question a lot well someone almond oil okay let's let's break this down okay most people most time you go and you see almond oil is really sweet almond oil most time they don't put the word sweet However, because everyone is so much into natural remedies, nowadays they choose to put the sweet because you have um, bitter almond oil and you have sweet almond oil. And I talk about this so much on the channel. It's gonna take up most of my time, but yes, you can use the almond oil instead of sweet almond oil, which is basically the same. But I'll explain to you another day, the whole shibam of the difference in oil. But most time, if it's a bitter almond oil, it's gonna say, bit. anyway, we'll talk about that, but yes, you can use it. All right, so my, um, I'm pimple on her hand, or can I, um, if it's pimple and it's on the hands, it could be eat, eat rash or something, because we don't take kitty's question, I'm kind of trying to blow it up, but daughter could be older too, and we don't know, so I'm saying eat rash, but, age group is very important so if i get the age i'm better able to answer the question all right so we are boiling down the time is tonight went by so quick all right connie is only good for eye bags to put on all night dab a little under the eyes now to each his own to each his own now honey is a humectant and what, how a humectant work on the skin is that it lot the moisture in the skin a lot of people don't realize that honey lot moisture in the skin coconut oil lot moisture in the skin vaseline lot moisture on the skin personally i do not like to use honey directly on the skin however it is used in many many skincare products for that very reason the humectant locking the moisture in the skin with that said i do not see why you couldn't use the honey under the skin under your eyes it will lock it and hydrate especially for puffy eyes oh you said eye bags yes but guess what very very sticky remember we're talking about almond oil take that honey and one teaspoon of almond oil sweet almond oil a few drops of honey dissolve that honey in that almond oil which makes it very very spreadable add a little bit of a vitamin e oil if you have that if you don't have it it's okay and that's what you dab under your eyes spreadable 
and also seep deep into that pores while preventing the water from escaping. So it's gonna help to shrink that eye bath. Okay, so because of that age, we are not answering your question, Nadine, because on this channel, we don't you know, feature children. So send us an email, that will work better for us. And I hope you understand why, the system. All right, so um, Connie is on, okay, so I just read that. Now, we are gonna continue with this summary for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, let's see what you're doing tonight. Let me go and check what is to be done tonight so that um, the So I forget you weren't hearing me. So tonight, what we do, we're toning, we're using a facial steam, and we're also using a facial mask. Uh, after that, we're wearing our facial toner, our facial serum, our facial moisturizer or oil, and we're massaging the skin. Now that sounds like a lot. And I know for a lot of new people, you're like, oh my goodness, so much like is too much. No, once you get it and you understand what to do, you realize that it's just second nature, okay? Wearing the facial mask and all of that might take a little time. Mask night normally take time because you're wearing the mask for 30 minutes. However, when it comes on to the beauty products, you're just taking a little bit of your facial toner as soon as you finish washing your face and you're splashing it on. When it is dry, then you're going for a little serum. And if you don't have a serum, we have a lot that we share on the channel. You can try to make one with aloe vera gel and stuff like that. And you take your serum, you press the serum on the skin. And then after you press that serum in, you go back in, you take a little moisturizer or oil, you press it on the skin. Don't forget the neck and decollete. And after that, you just massage your face for about three minutes. That's it. And I just did it. So that is why I'm telling you that it sounds like a lot when you look like, oh, toner, serum, moisturizer, but it's as easy as three minutes and you are done. If you want to massage the face a little longer, five minutes and you are good to go. Tomorrow is a big night, okay? Tomorrow is a big night. I want you all to come over tomorrow night because it's the end of the 25 days challenge and we're gonna pull some things out of the bag tomorrow night and all of that we want it to be a fun night so if you have the time and you can join us it's really important and make sure to still do what you need to do the challenge is 25 days but the printout goes up to 28 days now after the challenge is over you can continue to 28 days. This is my time for tonight. I'm gonna to continue with the summary. For those of you who are new, it's not too late. You still can get the printout to follow. Two ways to get the printout. One is that you can send for the printout um, at chichibeauty at gmail.com. Send for the printout at chichibeauty at gmail.com or you can go on our website, chichibeauty.com on the website, you have the printout from day one to day 28, but you also have recipes like the overnight mask, which we did on the challenge. We also have the facial peel and exactly how to substitute ingredient for the facial peel. All of that is on .com. So you choose where you want to get the printouts. Come tomorrow, prepare. And if you all have pictures, whoever have pictures, before and after pictures that you want me to highlight, you can let me know if you wanna be on the show tomorrow night, just to show us your skin. You don't have to say anything, you just come on and show your skin, let me know. But if you want to show me, show the rest of you know the watchers how you look, how your face is looking tomorrow, you will have to send that information to me before 12 noon tomorrow, because we have to set up the show and we also would have to send you a link for you to use to get on the show, okay? So that is my time tonight. Be good to yourself. I know I'm going to miss this show.
I'm going to miss this show. I'm going to miss it. But we're going to come back around about August with another 25 days skincare challenge. But we're on every Sunday, though. We're on every Sunday talking about skincare from 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This Sunday show has been running for almost four years now. So if you if the the live show is over, if the 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 challenge is over and you want to catch a live show your best bet is going to be sunday sunday every sunday at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time be good to yourself love you guys and i see you tomorrow with the big bang 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 final so what is the email anyone know yes the email is and we're going to put it back up for you to see that is the email um chichibuti at gmail.com the email is also the website is also um in the chat you can click on the link i'm gonna try to find it and repost it for you to see and the link but chichibuti.com for the email let me try to find the website link and paste it directly in the chat i think i did it but let me look for it again so let me go here um click it there and click it here and click it there copy and now i'm going to post it in the chat for everyone to see so this is the website you can go on the website via this link straight up that is the website link and the email link is on the screen so chichibuti at gmail.com email and chichibuti.com for the website have a good night first of all before i hang up i forgot this is not the midday show where i can i need to be one hour let me ask really really quick do you have any question for me if you did the chat i'm running off like oh this is the week midday show i have to finish in one hour if you have a question and for those of you who are asking about lucy hopefully lucy will be back very very soon okay all right so um julie i'm excited and can't wait for tomorrow night if you have any question for me go ahead and ask it really really quick so that we can you know end the show any question you have go ahead and ask it all right so no questions so we're off be good to yourself is sesame seed all the same you use for cooking no very very good question no it is not the sesame seed oil that i use is on roasted sesame seed oil not the one for cooking we want for cooking a fragrant it is roasted not that one unroasted is the one that you need so make sure that when you're buying you look and it said unroasted okay very very good question and um lucy will be back very very soon thank you so much chichi good night and lioness big show tomorrow night yes 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 thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon have a good night and be good to your skin take care of your skin